Hi, I'm Paul from Beyond the Trail and this is Basto Buttress on the east face of Trevan. There are a number of approaches to this route which is on the east face of Trevan and you should be able to see just behind me there the peaks of the main towers and buttresses on Trevan. Trevan meaning three places, tree van, three places in Welsh. And you can clearly see there are three distinct summits leading to the main summit. Ambasto Bustress it's the first buttress you get to on the Heather Terrace on the northern side of the mountain. You could access it from the A5 on the normal access into the North Ridge, gaining Heather Terrace, skirting left on the east side and locating the start of the route. Well, my preferred approach is from the A5 along the very straight stretch that passes Travan Bach, an amazing place to learn trad and scrambling, your first introduction to, to rope work and being on rock. And the approach I've taken is about 35 to 40 minutes from the road straight up here through some lovely little trickling brooks, through heather, a few boulders and brings me up to a fence line and a small gully known as No Name Gully by some people. When you get up through the gully you're going to turn left, keep moving up over and so you get onto Heather Terrace, which is quite a recognisable shelf above which all of the decent rock climbs seem to rise on the east face. After the fairly long walk in from the road, and it certainly gets you warmed up. Your next challenge is to find the right gully. In fact, Basto is the first gully you come across with Basto Buttress being at the right-hand side of the gully. And here it is. I've just arrived on Heather Terrace proper. It carries on up towards the South Ridge. And there's Basto Gully. And the entry to the route is just up beyond this block here about 10 meters into the gully first little step up and then step right onto the rock the first bit of climbing on the route is this little bridging section you can get your toes into these cracks bridge behind just to get past this chalk stone here and actually out onto the route and here Getting back out into the sunshine already on this most amazing day. After the first little climb on good rock you get to this small heather terrace and moving up to two rock ribs. The Steve Ashton guidebook describes these two ribs that are alongside Basto Gully which is to my left and says the right hand of the two ribs is easier, the left hand rib looks pretty blank and uh, you could climb it from lower down or get on where you can see this clearly worn rock where people have been moving already and there's an easy access to the rib here with very good solid blocky holds just checking stuff to make sure nothing's loose even if it's big and just making my way up onto the rib here and 
this route is graded at two plus. There are sections on here where you might want to consider roping up. Now, I'm soloing today, but this comes with a word of caution. Don't watch this video and think you can just come out and do this. You really do need to make sure you've got sufficient experience and knowledge to be able to make good decisions in the mountains and climb at your grade to be safe. The route starts to head left now onto this gorgeous rib of clean rock with brilliant holds skirting the edge of Basto Gully with some brilliant exposure, some finger cracks and the requirement to use a little bit of smearing and some good footholds yeah, to make delicate moves always to find better holes above a brilliant position a lot of people ask about footwear on routes like this and I'm wearing Boulder X by La Sportiva absolutely brilliant approach shoe and great for days like this on dry rock and in fact they do pretty well when it's damp as well just to be on the safe side sometimes a good idea to put a pair of climbing shoes in your bag as well just in case often find on these brilliant scrambling routes in Snowdonia is that you get short sections of excellent climbing broken up by little scrambles on grass or heather and closest to the end of this route of Basto Buttress it tends to break down a little bit but there's still some really nice bits of rock that you can choose to get up and down and just pick your own way I've just come out through this dirty corner here full of grass, good holds and I think this is where people describe the route becoming quite heavily grown with lichen and it can be a bit slippery and today that's not the case and then you end up with these brilliant examples of quartz nodules in the rock, this volcanic rock rhyolite that you find on Trevan and uh, there are lots of theories about how these nodules are formed whether through gas or just high heat and pressure and you break them open you find quartz crystals inside what I do know is they make for a brilliant climbing surface just coming out to the top of all of the climbing sections really over and done with now the route's only 140 meters in elevation from Heather Terrace to this point where it just thins out and becomes a little easy scrambling over boulders and heather getting onto the North Ridge proper it is an amazing little route it's only quick but it's got some brilliant positions some fantastic exposure and really nice rock as well